Well, first of all, thanks for coming. Um, just want to acknowledge the fact that it's Veterans Day and um, just how much we appreciate uh, and respect and uh, everything that um, you know those that serve do for us, those that have served, and um, just not only today but every day. Just how much we appreciate them. Appreciate the great group that came out tonight. Um, you know, thought that was a good turnout for a non-conference game, and we appreciate the the support from our community. Um, you know, hats off to Murray State. I just felt like uh, they were the grittier team tonight, which doesn't sit well with any of us. Um, that's something that we want to be able to hang our hat on uh, night in and night out. And we've done such a tremendous job of that in our exhibitions. And so, um, you know, we'll, we'll be better because of it for sure. Uh, I think, you know, as we watch film and just self-reflect, uh, we'll see some areas that maybe um, they were a little bit more aggressive than we were. Really proud of our players. I felt like, uh, obviously, the first half we played, I, I thought we played some really good basketball. Uh, second half, didn't shoot the ball nearly as well. Um, had some breakdowns. But uh, probably the thing I'm most proud of is the last two, two and a half minutes of the game. You know, I, we had a huddle situation. And I just said, you know, we'll, we'll see how much we've grown in the last six months. And uh, it's really cool that the fact that they could, um, you know, stare adversity in the face and said, not tonight. Not tonight. We're going to find a way to get it done. And I am obviously, uh, Mama made some big plays. And Asia had a big game for us. But, you know, it's mission first team always and whatever it takes on any given night. And uh, just really proud of their effort and, and their resiliency. That's something that we've talked a lot about as a team. We've got to be resilient. Um, events are going to happen throughout the course of the game. How are we going to respond? And it's going to determine the outcome. And uh, I thought our girls did a really good job of that tonight as well. Okay, you, men uh, you mentioned the second half where the offense kind of spread a little bit. I was just kind of curious what you thought went into that. It seemed like at times you're just kind of missing layups and, and kind of easy shots. Like that. <laughs> it did seem that way, didn't it? Um, you know, it, I don't know if fatigue was part of it. Um, you know, we tried to back off the last couple of days because these girls have been busting their butts. Um, they've been working their tails off. And, you know, we understand this is a marathon, not a sprint, and the importance of uh, making sure we've got fresh legs. And, um, you know, I probably should have went a little bit deeper into the bench in the second half. Um, you know, that's probably an area that, that I need to do a better job of. Uh, because I think, you know, a 30-second break, a minute break, even when they feel like they've got the endurance to, to um, continue to stay out there, I think the fresh legs makes a world of a difference. So I probably got to go a little bit deeper into our bench. Uh, that would probably have helped some of that second half where I thought maybe fatigue was a little bit of a factor. Coach, how does a close game like this really set the tone for the rest of the season? You know, we're just uh, one game at a time for sure. Uh, like I said, I thought that that – Last two minutes were a defining moment for us uh, in an early season. And again, uh, we know that this it's a marathon, not a sprint, and there's going to be adversity and there's going to be um, some highs and lows and uh, great wins and tough losses. But uh, what they did, the way they looked me in the eye in that last two minutes uh, in that huddle, I felt pretty good about it. We didn't waver. We bent, but we didn't break. Uh, we understood what we needed to get done, and uh, at the end of the day, it's mission first, team always, and uh, we found a way to get it done, a again, against a very gritty, fundamentally sound, very well-coached Murray State team. Could you describe how impactful that sequence was in the fourth quarter where Mama takes a charge and then hits a three right after that? I, th I thought it was huge. I mean, those we talk about that all the time, uh, those charge plays, how they can be uh, momentum changers, game changers. Those are winning plays. Uh, those are toughness. Those are grittiness. Um, and and those, those plays can change, um, change a game. And I thought that certainly was the case. And obviously a great shot. Big shot for Mama. Asia Williams, uh, she just went 15 minutes tonight. I know she's not back to full health, but going forward, do you think the team is still searching for that second big if she can't go? Or, or is it more like when she's out, you're going to go with smaller packages, kind of like you did tonight. Yeah, you know, I think it all, a lot of it's just matchups, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I think, you know, Mike is, Mike is coming along. I think when Jayla uh, gets back, you know, she'll, she'll bring, bring a different kind of presence for us. Uh, she's been back in practice the last week or so, and that is one strong girl. Uh, she can move some people. Um, you know, I think if we get Sky and Nisi healthy, that's going to help a lot. Uh, but I also think it's just matchup driven. You know, when, when they had their big out and, you know, they're spreading the court, 
um, it's kind of like a chess match, you know, do we keep our bag and go inside or we try to match up? What, what are we struggling with on the offensive end, the defensive end? And so I think there's, you know, there's a lot of different uh, directions you can go with it. And Day is going to be just fine. Day is going to be just fine. I mean, she, she's she been back with us for probably uh, consistent practice, probably, I don't know, what would you guys say, two and a half, three weeks? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it, it hasn't been that long. So for her to have the timing that she does right now, after being out for six months, um, I mean, that's that's pretty impressive right there. So um, Day is the least of my concerns. Uh, she's a big time player, and um, I think she'll just continue to elevate. Mama, how did your mentality of the game change as it kind of went on? Because you had a career night, and how, how did it change from start to finish? Um, I don't know. I just knew um, that the, the team needs me, and I just had to do it. And if it's not OK, then. I will try to fix it and go to the gym and keep shooting, but that was that was my mindset. Are there, are there any other questions for Coach? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's fine. We're good. Uh, well, in terms of defense, I know you talked a lot about that a couple weeks ago, just kind of getting started back and, and improving that way. But um, I mean, forced 15 turnovers tonight. I mean, were there any positives you could take from the performance defensively? Mm. Um, I, there's definitely going to be positives in there. You know, we we've got a standard um, that we talk about and. You know, we've worked our tails off for six months, and that's what I kept telling these guys, you know, that we can guard harder than what we did. And, um, you know, we just, um, and again, they, they've got, they move the ball well. They move ball, move people, ball reversals, back screens. Uh, I mean, they, they, they uh, execute their offense very well. Um, but I think there's plenty of areas that we can clean up. Uh, got beat on the drive. We didn't guard our yard uh, with a post play. Sometimes we doubled. We didn't need to. Uh, just some, some things that I thought could have been a lot better in, in some of those possessions. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of positives. There's a lot of positives on both ends. And you know what? There's a lot of things that we got to get better at, too. It's the first game of the season, and, um, you know, I think, I, I think we're in a good spot. We'll grow, we'll get better, we'll watch film to learn um, and, and see what we did well and see where we need to improve at. Coach, you put Mama and Izzy on the floor uh, at the same time uh, a lot tonight. Um, and I wanted to ask, is that something that you plan to utilize pretty often? Because I know that you know, they play the same position and, and what is what changes uh, when both of them are on the floor instead of Yeah, you know, I just, you know, when, when those two are on the court at the same time, I think it allows us to, you know, try and get Izzy a few more shots in that off guard spot. I think that's a, Mama had to go through it last year as a freshman point guard, and it's a lot. Uh, if we can take that pressure off her, I really like actually Troop, uh, maybe as our backup point guard right now. She doesn't have the speed or quickness, but she's just high basketball IQ and plays with great pace. Um, but, you know, we, we've got some different options. we got to get Lauren going. You know, Lauren, Lauren um, you, you know, is such a great player, and she's going to be huge for us. And, um, you know, I just think early on, you, you know, whether you're pressing, you want it so bad, sometimes you got to take a deep breath. But we've got options. Uh, I, thought, I thought Sarah Rose came in and gave us good minutes. Kai didn't get a lot of minutes, but that's a kid that we're going to be counting on. Uh, you know, she's just such an elite defender. Um, and so... Again, it's early. We're still testing the waters a little bit. I think there's a lot of different rotations you can go with. How big was Haley Frank down the stretch? It didn't seem like she had her best first three quarters, but she really turned it on in the fourth quarter. How big yeah, was that? Yeah, I think you got to give Murray State some credit for that. I thought they really did a good job and made it hard for her to get some good looks. Um, you know, they, they guard her well. She shoots the ball extremely well. One of the top shooters in the country. Why, you know, would you give her any looks? And uh, I, I thought they did a good job of really uh, making it challenging for her. Um, you know, but she's such a team first, you know, it's not about her points, it's not, it has nothing to do with that. You're not going to see Frankie take some tough, bad shots, you know. Uh, we want her to be aggressive, we want her to be assertive, but um, she's going to do whatever the team needs to do, you know, and I thought she did that tonight. Hey Jeff, how did you react when some of the underclassmen started making plays, like, like Mama and, and like Izzy too? Look, look, <laughs> honestly, but they're really like understanding like our like, vision this season. Um, they understand like what happened last year. And I'm so proud of Mama. I just want to say that right now. Um, it's big time. She stepped up from last year. And yeah, I'm so proud of her. <laughs> and Izzy. Uh, and I know near the end of the game, it kind of looked like you're kind of hobbling a little bit. I mean, how, how are you feeling right now, especially after the, after the close one like that? 
It look good. Um, about to head to that whole, that cold tub though. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> how was the crowd atmosphere like impacting the game for you? I think, um, especially late, you know, they got really, they got loud for us. I mean, having that sixth man and every team talks about it in the country, they do. But it is a, it, it makes a difference. And, um, you know, we've been really blessed with some great loyal fans over the years. You know, they've been with us with some big, big wins and some tough losses. Uh, but I felt like down the stretch, um, you know, when we really needed them the most, uh, you know, I, I don't usually hear the fans. I, I don't know why, but I don't hear them. Uh, but down the stretch, I heard them. Did you guys hear them? Yeah. Yeah, and, and I thought that was huge. So we really appreciate that. We'd love to get that student section out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need those students, so we'll continue to see what we can do to elevate that. Um, so um, Auburn lost to the Georgia Southern team tonight. I mean, you're you're always going to get the best shot of enough from a non-conference team like this. How do you think your team responded, to, especially to this? Yeah, there's no doubt. I coached at a mid-major, okay, um, and you know we beat teams that we sh had no business beating. Purdue, Illinois, Indiana, UCLA. Like we lived for these games. You know, you go as a coach, uh, it's a really easy um, pregame talk. They've got everything to lose, everything to gain and nothing to lose. I've been on the other side. I know what that's like. And good for them. Good for them. Um, you know, they put it all out there. They, they let it all hang out. And, um, you know, I, I think, you know, in the non-conference when you play, Mid-majors, I've got a lot of respect for mid-majors, a lot of respect. It, it's, our motto is respect all, fear nobody. Um, and if you don't, you're going to end up getting beaten. I, I mean, there's just a lot of really good, you know, and I think a lot of times you get those kids in mid-majors that were maybe three stars or four stars, super fundamentally sound, not about the flash, not about the sexy, but just gritty, hard-nosed, fundamentally sound, team first, and, um, I thought they played really well. I really did. I was impressed with them. How has your trust kind of uh, built built uh, over time with your team? Kind of feeling like your backs against the wall, being on the other side of playing against a small the smaller school had you guys on the ropes. How do you like make sure to ensure your players that you trust them? to do what needs to be done? Yeah, you know what, that's a great question. And I'll tell you what, we've come a long way in the last six months. We've gone through some things. And I love this team. It is such a great feeling to wake up in the morning and think I get to go to battle with this team. And we feel that way as a coaching staff. They, they've done everything we've asked of them. I mean, they've, they're, they're given everything they got. Um, it, it's just, it's a really fun team to coach. And it's not always going to go our way. You know, th there's going to be a game that, um, you know, it, it doesn't go our way. Uh, but I'll go to battle with these guys any day, any day of the week. It's going to be a fun year. I'm excited. Any more questions? Okay. Thank you. All right.